Cameron here for, well, this is going to be an on the road piece. We're heading out to the Westfield Santa Anita Mall at a place called The Promenade, and that's on the second floor. Uh, I'm heading over there right now. It's about a quarter to 10. They open at 10. They close at about seven. They do have the main mall open now since the 8th of October, but no places to sit. But a lot of the businesses have reopened and are accepting customers. So if you want to go there, go there now. Uh, for me, I'm just doing this because I haven't done an on the road piece in quite some time. I'm going to do it at least one Wednesday, just one Wednesday a month, instead of trying to do this every single week. Uh, due to the fact that the buses are now going to be accepting fares on the 18th, uh, that kind of puts a crimp in my plans to do what I'd like to try to do. So that's why this on the road piece is just only going to be one thing. And that's right here, right now. I'm Cameron Farmer for Kingsbury Travels on the road, the promenade. Hello again. Uh, I'm on the bus that's headed toward the Westfield Santa Anita Mall. We'll be at the promenade as soon as possible when it opens at 10 o'clock. It's about 9.45-ish right now. The driver is outside just taking a break. Came on board to open the doors for me. And I'm just waiting right here get to the mall on time and do this. Okay, here we are. Uh, the mall is over here. It usually opens at 11. We just got off the bus. This is about to leave. And there it goes. <laughs> Nice driver. So we're gonna walk on over to the promenade, which is just off to the side of this Macy's. Right here. Just off to the side. Here we are, we're here. Sorry for the copyrighted music. It'll have this will have to be muted.
Uh, hi, it's me again. Um, inside the mall proper, down at the bottom level, as you can see, kind of bare. Yeah. Uh, even though some places are open, some places are closed, especially where, when it comes to the, this food mall. Um, what I'm really concerned about is that uh, there is no rest, no seats in this area whatsoever now because of uh, COVID-19. That means seniors like myself cannot sit down after a tiring day and rest up a little bit before we have to go elsewhere. Now, Looks <sighs> cameraed again. Uh, I was just asked by mall security that I couldn't record inside. A public place, and I couldn't record what I was doing which was, of course, imparting news that uh, COVID actually sucks this year. Yeah. And that the stuff that I'm trying to show you guys, this is not going to be the new normal. I, I really know this deep in my heart. But as it is, 2020 can go suck it. Yeah, and so can the Westfield Santa Anita Mall. They can suck it too. Uh, I had to leave the spot that I was at because someone else came by and said, well, I use this plug in order to sell my things and whatnot. Uh, I wanted to tell him off, but he was nice. And I was very accommodating, so I'm just here, just outside the mall area, kind of. This on the road piece wants to be as honest and truthful as it can be. Because if it isn't, then I'm not doing my job well. So it's required that you have a mask on at all times inside the mall, also on the promenade. I wanted to show you more of the promenade, but of course there's a whole bunch of kids. I don't want kids in this video whatsoever comply with everything that's being told about this. Uh, COVID-19 is a serious issue and we all need to be protected and stand up for our rights at the same time because if you don't stay safe, we're not safe at all. So thank you again for joining me on this episode of Kingsbury Travels on the Road. I'm Cameron Farmer and until next time.